Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. Of the ways you can edit entities in BricsCAD, the one I want to show you today is a double clicking. That's where you pass your cursor over an entity and then double click. In most cases, BricsCAD will show you the properties bar here, and you can go around and change things, such as the uh, such as the color, or you can edit the even edit the location. Let's move this to say uh, three comma eight, and you can change the size, the area. So let's change the area to five, and there we have a bigger circle. To finish editing it, press Escape. Now, the important thing is that you don't select it. You simply pause the cursor over it, then, then double click. Now, different uh, types of editing actions are available for different kinds of entities. For example, here's a polyline. And when I double click that, well, you certainly still get the uh, properties bar here where you can change things, but also the pedit command starts. See down here on the command line, pedit. Over here in the options bar, pedit and I can go through and uh, uh, edit the polyline. So let's exit that one. And when we select text, we can immediately uh, edit it. So double clicking text lets you edit it. Same for regular text and M text. When it comes to dimensions, you double click and uh, here you can see you can uh, the text formatting dialog box appears and you can make those changes. Now it's possible in BricsCAD to change what happens when you double click an entity and that's what's going to be in the next part of this tutorial. Now it's possible to customize what uh, double clicking does to an entity and that's what I'm going to show you now. To get into that, let's right click uh, any toolbar or ribbon and uh, choose customize. Now here we are in the customize dialog box. So we're going to click on the mouse tab, go down into double click actions, and this is where everything takes place. Now, you notice on something's a little bit different. Instead of names of commands over here, we have names of entities. And these are all the BricsCAD entities that uh, can have double click actions attached to them. So, let's have a look here. We've I've chosen here uh, ACAD proxy entity, and you can see down here what's going to happen is that the properties bar is going to open up when you double click that. Uh, this block has a different icon next to it and that's letting you know that it's not going to open the properties bar. Instead, it's going to start the ref edit command. Hatch and it'll open the hatch edit. Helix, open the properties and so on. Now the one I want to change here is dimension. Right now it uh, brings up the ordinary uh, edit text dialog box so you can edit the dimension text. But I want to do something different. How about if every time I double click a dimension, it changes the style to the current style. So here's how we do this. Let me go over here to this pane, dimensions right here. And let's look down the list. And there we go, apply a dimension style, or more specifically, apply the current style to the selected dimensions. Exactly what I want. So to uh, make this work, I will take the apply dimension style command and drag it over onto a dimension entity. And when I now click dimension, you can see now it's going to uh, apply the current style. Well, let's try it out, see if it actually works. Let's click OK. And what I have done beforehand, I've already set up a special style with a bunch of different uh, uh, properties for dimensions so that you can see that when I double click it, it definitely changes. Double click and there you go. Different style applied to that dimension. So just one last reminder, in order to make these double click actions work, you don't select the entity, you simply move the cursor over it and then you double click it. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.